are now in the deep end of horror. And I will see the life run out of you. Hello, my children of the popcorn. Well, my good friend Bryn across the pond tagged me in the cheesy 80s horror video, but I ran I just ran out of time, so this is this is much later than everybody else's, and I apologize. I especially apologize to Bryn, who was kind enough to tag me. Um my favorite 80s cheesy horror movie, um, you might guess, <laughs> is Creep Show. Um, Creepshow is fantastic, and if you haven't, if you love Creepshow and you haven't gotten the Scream Factory edition, you should. The picture quality is just amazing, um, and I had the, got this little piece of artwork at one of the cons I went to, which I really love. And worst, worst cheesy '80s horror film. Let me put this back here. Well, let me put this back here for now. Uh, worst cheesy 80 horror film, The Howling 2. The Howling 2 is horrible. How can you have a movie that follows a classic werewolf movie and stars Christopher Lee in it and has Sybil Danning taking her clothes off and have it be nearly unwatchable? Well, they found a way. Howling 2 is just a steaming pile of garbage. Uh, the best thing in it are the end credits, which are hysterically funny, and I don't want to spoil it for you, but you should just go straight to the end credits and watch those. Howling 2. Best produced 80s cheesy horror movie. Well, <coughs> I don't want to pick Creepshow again. I want to keep it to one each, so we're going to say Killer Clowns from Outer Space, because everything about the set design, production design, the special effects, the makeup. It's all absolutely wonderful. So, definitely Killer Clowns. And honestly, Killer Clowns, out of the ten questions on this tag, eight of them could have I could have answered with Killer Clowns. Uh, weirdest 80s cheesy horror movie? I'm going to have to agree with Bryn. This one is Society. If you know what the shunting is, you know how weird this film is. Uh, plus, it has, uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, a supremely low body count given a horror movie. And, um, uh, best scene from a cheesy 80s horror movie, <coughs> I picked the cheesiest scene in an 80s cheesy horror movie, and that's Enigma. Lucio Fulci's Enigma. And that would be the scene, if you've seen it, you know which scene I'm going to mention. It's Death by Snails. Death by Snails, people. Not kidding. Best creature in an 80s cheesy horror movie? Well, have you not been looking? It's Pumpkinhead. Stan Winston created an incredible creature in Pumpkinhead, and Pumpkinhead really needs a good movie to go with it. The first movie is good. The next three are worth watching because Pumpkinhead is in it. Favorite cheesy 80s horror movie with aliens from space? Well, obviously that could have been Killer Clowns, but we'll go with Life Force. Because, well, just because. <laughs> it's Toby Hooper's uh, film for canon films, and it's just a wild ride from start to finish. Um, and just goes in some weird, weird directions. But I, I really love Life Force, and I need to upgrade this and get the, the better copy. I think Arrow has a better copy of that one. Scariest cheesy, scariest cheesy 80s horror movie. I'm going to go with Demons, even though that was already picked, because this one is both cheesy and scary, and takes place in a, mostly in a movie theater. Favorite cheesy 80s sci-fi horror movie? That would be the wonderful Reanimator in the Arrow Collection. Which comes with a, a graphic novel in the limited edition. A booklet, art cards, unrated version, and the integral version. However, 
if you don't if you didn't get the limited edition and you just buy the normal one and you don't get the integral version which is basically the version with everything you aren't really missing much the scenes that were deleted were deleted for a reason and honestly disc 1 which is the one you get in the regular version this is the best version um the only reason to watch the integral version is just to see some of the alternate scenes that got cut out. Cheapest looking cheesy 80s horror movie. Well, speaking of unwatchable, I think you all know my fondness for Nazis as bad guys, and Nazi Undead takes the cake for me. I just love it. Um, Jess Franco's Oasis of the Zombies is unwatchable. It is so cheesy and so cheap looking and borrows scenes from other movies because he couldn't be bothered to film film them. And it's just, Oasis of Zombies is terrible. It is unwatchable. And that's the horror tag. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, or even comment below because I want to hear what you think. No fair.